Marshall Harris here. The Cubs and White Sox, they're in Arizona, preparing for a delayed April 7th opening day. Matt Zahn from Mesa on why that date may not work for everyone. It's a bit of good news, bad news injury update for the Cubs. Outfielder Ian Happ should be ready for opening day despite having surgery on his throwing elbow last month. But starting pitcher Adbert Alzali will start the season on the injured list with shoulder tightness, and it likely won't be a short stint, according to Jed Hoyer, who's working on bolstering the roster with free agency opening the same time as camp. This is a kind of a crazy transaction period we've never had before, and doing that um, while guys are reporting while camp is starting, uh, certainly strange. Uh, we obviously have a number of holes to address. You know, um, it, our biggest focus, you know, candidly has been, and we've said this over and over, is on, on pitching and pitching depth. With the shortened camp, pitchers won't have as long to ramp up. Kyle Hendricks says they learned some lessons from 2020 when COVID led to a truncated camp then as well. I think going through 2020 might help a lot in this process. You know, I, hopefully there won't be as many. I think uh, guys learned a lot from that year. And like I said, I think teams are really stressing that, yeah, it's going to be a sprint we only have three weeks, but we all know this is unique. So take your time, make sure you're right, don't overdo it. Kyle Hendricks started opening day of that 2020 season with a complete game. He wasn't sure he could promise that again this time around, but does say he feels like he's in a good spot. Covering spring training in Arizona, Matt Zahn, CBS 2 News.